Hi there, Scorpio. Welcome to your November 2017 General Tarot Reading. This is Raina. Now, Scorpio, you can see that I've laid out the cards. What happened was I was putting out the cards and I remembered that I had just put some hot chocolate on the stove. So <laughs> I was planning on doing a 20-minute reading and having hot chocolate boiling. As soon as I put it on the stove, I just promptly forgot about it. And that's the way my mind works. So ADD much? Um, so anyway, um, I've come back and um, what I'm seeing here, when, we, when I look at this, remember that this is a general topic. So it can be love, it can be career, it can be a combination. And it's also general because there are a gazillion Scorpios on the planet. And obviously you're all leading different lives. Astrology is more of the thing that we can, we can lump everybody together of one sign, not, not these tarot readings. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. A lot of my private readings are actually um, based on astrology because of that fact, because it, you know, and especially when I have somebody's natal chart, forget about it, because um, it does describe what is going on in their um, life based on transits very, very uh, succinctly, I think, in a lot of cases. So this is very symbolic, but this is fun to do for demonstrations on YouTube because it's just more, it's more open-ended and it gives me more leeway. It's more creative, let's put it that way. So for the overall theme of November, we're, ta we're looking at the Ten of Wands. Who is this person? Is this you, Scorpio? Are you working your fingers to the bone? Have you taken on too much? Um, have you agreed to, to do volunteer work in addition to your regular job? Are you taking care of a parent? There's so many possibilities, but you may be kind of nearing the stage where you're about to get burned out. Sometimes this can indicate that you're dealing with somebody who's like this and maybe you haven't been able to see them. So a spouse who's working n nonstop and it's affecting your relationship because you never see one another. Or a new person, because I get like two cards that are aces and that indicates like um, new relationship and um, maybe even a new job. Okay, this could be a fire sign individual, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, out of the three, I would say Leo, it's because you're a Scorpio, fixed signs. Whoever it is, I'm just going to talk about this higher message because this is a card. Um, the Knight of Swords can indicate somebody with both air and fire. Okay, Knights can be fiery, and so it could go along with that, Leo. But, um, but also with air. And, and it could possibly be their, their sun sign. So I'm not sure exactly. I even got this card, which is connected to Sagittarius. So it's all over the map. Um, my feeling overall is that either you have met somebody new and you're consulting a lawyer, because this can be a lawyer. This is a spiritual message, though. So it's not so much what is happening literally, but what the spiritual lesson is in this. And so this card could indicate that you're trying too hard. That could be that Ten of Wands. That you've been trying too hard with this person, but he, and I'm going to just assign gender, is too detached from his feelings to really be compatible with you. And this is because you're a water sign. And if you were like a, a fire sign, if you were a Sagittarian instead of a Scorpio, it might not be a big deal at all. But because you're a Scorpio, it really rankles you that 
you're dealing with somebody who tends to intellectualize their emotions and distance themselves from it. And also, um, even though I'm jumping the gun here, this is kind of uh, future tense uh, of you might still be dealing with this person, they may even go so far as to be a womanizer because they don't, they're afraid of commitment. So, you know, we have these two nights in a row and that kind of speaks of that reckless energy and that inability to settle down properly. Also, it's more youthful. So if you're a woman, let's say over, well, it doesn't have to be a woman. You could be a man interested in a man too. Okay, a person who is more mature. Either this person is literally younger than you, you know, chronologically, or it could be that they have immaturity in them. If they are somebody over the age of 40 and they are exhibiting these traits, they may be quite immature. But um, in terms of this scenario in a professional sense, I think that some Scorpio people are feeling disgruntled because they may be working very hard and perhaps feeling overwhelmed by it. Whether or not you, know, you make enough money or blah, 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 it's more of a thing of just how it's sucking the life out of you. And so... In the past, we have the Ace of Cups. So either um, something has come, come as an offer for you that is more emotionally resonant. And usually in these situations, I think of the fact that, I, I mean, the reason that it's even an issue is because the person may feel like, okay, well, that's all well and good, but it doesn't pay as much as my current job. And so they tend to kind of downplay it. And the, the Ace of Cups is like a labor of love. It's something that you would do because you love what it represents in your life. It can be a creative endeavor, but again, it may not be something that you associate with being lucrative. Um, and you may saddle yourself in something that is very stressful, but it's the lure is the money. We look at what's happening right now. We have another ace, another beginning. And this is one that is more to your liking because it's pentacles. It's that tangible earth earthly, um, substantial, grounding kind of an influence that could be a job offer, for instance. But it could even be that you receive money out of the blue. And Scorpio, you have Jupiter in your sign, so you better start expecting this on a regular basis. <laughs> because you're going to have this for the next year. Um, and by the way, I'm trying to think about how that transit goes. Yeah. So starting on the 7th, Venus is going to join Jupiter in your sign. So Venus and Jupiter can both bring money with them. And it's your sun sign, so, or your rising sign. So, um, that might be a gift, a financial gift. But something, now you see that depiction of the portal or the door. The whole idea of that is because aces represent beginnings. And it's like you have this opportunity to have a whole new experience open up for you. And it can feel very exciting because it may come, who knows, maybe it comes out of, the blue, you didn't expect it. And what I like is it's flanking that ten of wands, that person that settled down. So it may be something that lifts your burden, okay? So what crosses you? The moon. Now, um, 
This could be talking about that full moon in, in the opposite sign of, of you, Taurus, on the 4th. And as a challenge card, this could be a challenging moon for you. Now, it is in opposition with your sun or your rising sign. It is in that 7th house. So there could be something that comes up for people who are already in committed relationships that speaks of finding things out, especially for Scorpios, because that is the, the, the full moon is in the seventh house. So it puts a spotlight on your partner. Um, if this is that person, um, that two facets of that, you may be consulting a lawyer because this guy can be a lawyer. Um, and um, you may have been trying to make something work that just was not happening. But I feel like even if that's the case, you know that there are new beginnings surrounding you. And it might not be in love. Those might have something to do with your career ambitions. But still, you have something going on that is noteworthy. So if somebody has been doing anything and you find out about it, chances are you already knew, but were kind of sticking your head in the sand because maybe you were working hard and you just didn't feel like dealing with that too. And now it's, it's gone so far that you have to address it. For some people, the, the full moon could simply be that you received the divorce decree or that you decide to commit to a partner. It can be a romantic experience. It doesn't have to be an ending. But um, because of the these cards involved, I feel like um, there may be someone, at least one person that you're involved with, where it's not a good thing, where you are feeling worn out over that person. And maybe you have tried so hard to make it work that you kind of are throwing in the towel. And really, this card is kind of reiterating the fact that this person is incapable at this time of giving you what you want. It's not a question of if you stay there five more years, then that person will suddenly see the light. It's not, it, it, something. sometimes things are not meant to be. And actually, if you have to try so hard, chances are you're on the wrong track. So what comes in is this Knight of Wands energy. Um, it's possible that there is um, someone that we're talking about a committed relationship and this is somebody else. This could be a fling. This could be something that you are perfectly well aware of that it's going to be a temporary thing and you don't care. You just want to have some fun. You want to transition and you just don't want to have to think about anything right now. For some people, there is a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This card is actually connected to Sagittarius. I connect it to Aries, person who is coming into your life, and that person will be uplifting for you. They may not be the type to commit, however. And again, you may be well aware of that and you don't care. It's not about that. You're just happy to be rid of another relationship that didn't go anywhere. In terms of professional situations, um, I do feel that's a facet of you and I feel like you're going to throw caution to the wind and not worry as much as maybe you tend to do. And you may take up a job offer that and not worry about other f aspects of it, not worry if, if it doesn't pay as much because you're going to feel emotionally so much better. And I feel like it's going to lead you to financial stability anyway. The outcome is the Seven of Pentacles. And this is 
kind of a quiet card. It's a card of assessment. It's not really an active card. It's more like waiting, having patience for something to materialize. And um, you may accept a job offer and not sure if it's going to be something that works out or not. Maybe you don't even have control over that. Maybe they're giving you a probational period and they're, maybe this is them looking at you. But even in relationships, if you've started a new relationship, you may just be kind of like assessing it. This could, there's two cards there with the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. This could be an Earth sign and that would be Taurus. Again, not the Taurus because that's your opposite sign. Virgo Capric or Capricorn individual. But it's really, um, what I like about this reading is that I feel like you are, you have a lot of opportunities. It's not like, uh, you know, you're desperate or anything like that. Um, one thing I wanted to say about this challenge position card, in addition to timing of that full moon, it can be that you need to really um, ask questions. If you are thinking about accepting a new job, don't just take people at their word. Ask them specific things that if they're making you an offer, try to ask as many questions as possible because this can be a card of being kept in the dark about something or even deceived about something. Um, again, <laughs> Uh, this could be a card of, of um, secrets coming out. And actually, that, that it's great when secrets come out. It can be traumatic for some people who uh, really take refuge in their illusions. But ultimately, you don't want to, to be living uh, in a situation with somebody who is lying to you or working for a company that is deceiving you in some way, maybe stringing you along while they uh, try to find somebody to replace you. And you can tell that something's going on, but you can't put your finger on it, that kind of thing. So anyway, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you'd like a personal reading, please click on the link below. Otherwise, have a great November. Happy birthday to those born in November. Take care. Bye.